Hi, in this quick start guide, you'll see how to set up a cold email campaign in Woodpecker. Each campaign can be prepared in three simple steps. The email sequence setup, which we call the path, uploading the prospect list into the prospect section, and the summary, in which you can test the campaign and start sending it. Before you start, you can of course name your campaign, that's the internal name, just for you. Your prospects won't see it, and most importantly, pick the email address you want to send the campaign from. If you have some email accounts already connected to Woodpecker, you'll be able to pick one from this list. You can also add a new email address from here. Now let's get to the three steps in campaign. First, the path. In the first step, you set up all the details of your email outreach sequence. To create a personalized email, you can use snippets that will automatically be filled in with data from your prospect base. You can use basic snippets like first name or company, but also more advanced ones that you can create yourself. A snippet can be a word, a few words, a whole sentence, or even a whole paragraph. It's all up to you. You can also format the text as you wish. However, we always recommend keeping things simple and sending plain text emails to make them look like you sent them manually, one by one. The idea is to make sure your message feels like it's a one-to-one -one personal outreach, not a newsletter or a commercial email. If you need to use a link in your email, you can add it here. Tracking clicks on the links is also something you mostly want to avoid in cold emails. The most important metric you'll be focusing on will be the reply rate, not the click rate, as in the case of newsletters. Adding an image is also an option. You can do it here by simply pasting a URL to an image you host outside of Woodpecker. Remember to use an appropriate text to HTML ratio in your emails. If you send just an image with little or no text, your email may not be delivered. To set the timeframes for sending your messages, use the panel on the right hand side. Mark the days you want your message to be sent on and set the hours. The wider the time frame, the better, since Woodpecker sends the planned emails randomly within the whole sending window to mimic human behavior and provide you with better deliverability rates. If you leave too little time for sending, the randomization gets limited and Woodpecker will try to send as many messages planned for the time frame as possible. Remember that the times you set up here are within your present time zone. If you want your prospects to get the messages within another time zone, you can make a change after clicking on the gear icon in the top right corner of your campaign settings. You can also set Woodpecker to send the messages within the time zones of individual prospects, only if the prospects in your prospect base include the information about the countries they reside in. If they do, you can just mark the checkbox here. This is also where you can set the maximum limit of prospects you want to reach out to daily with the first message of the campaign. When your first touch point email is ready, you can add follow-ups. Add another email to be sent after a couple of days if your prospect did not reply to the first one. Our research shows that as little as one follow-up email in a campaign increases your chances of getting a reply by up to 22%. Remember that the follow-ups will be stopped automatically for the prospects who did reply to one of your previous emails. You'll never follow up accidentally with the people who already responded. And if you use the integration with Calendly, you can also set up the follow-up sequence to be stopped automatically after your prospect books a meeting there. You can also add a task as a step on the path that you want to do yourself as part of the outreach sequence, such as calling the prospect or visiting their profile on LinkedIn. The task is just a simple reminder for you to perform an action. A single campaign may include up to 12 steps in total. For more complex campaigns adjusted to the prospect's behavior, use conditions. Plan separate approaches for prospects who did react to your email in a given way or didn't. Or you can prepare separate messaging 
for various segments of your prospect base by setting a condition ahead of the first email in your sequence. You can also add A-B tests to your messages. You can add up to five versions of each one here. This is not only a good way to improve your email copy and optimize your results, but also a way to diversify your messaging. This helps you achieve better deliverability rates. The A-B testing feature is available with an add-on you can enable in the marketplace. One more thing you may find handy is the built-in spam check of your email copy. When your campaign is almost ready, check it against spam filters before you send it out. This will allow you to make all the necessary changes in the copy and make sure you're not sending anything that could accidentally trigger spam filters. Step two, prospects. Once the content of your campaign is ready, you can move to step two, which is adding some prospects. You can do this by uploading a CSV file or an Excel file. You can do it manually, or you can do it directly from an integrated prospecting tool like Hunter, Uplead, or LeadFuse, among many others. You can also import prospects from Google Sheets using our native integration. If you've added some prospects earlier to the main prospect base in Woodbecker, choose the option From Database. Remember that each prospect email address will automatically be verified right before sending them a message. This way, you won't try to send your campaign to non-existent emails. Your bounce rate will be lower and your sender reputation better. Woodpecker offers this email verification from Bouncer to all users at no additional cost. You don't have to turn anything on, it's built in, always there, and working for you in the background. Part 3. Summary. Now we've come to the finish line. You're almost ready to hit the send button. The third step is the summary where you can check if everything looks good and ready to go. You can do that in preview where you can also customize the first email. That's right, you can edit the first email in preview if you want to try some extra personal approach with some of the prospects. Another good idea is to send a test email to yourself just to make sure everything looks the way it's supposed to in the inbox. We highly recommend doing this before sending your campaign. Once everything has been checked, you can start running your campaign. You can start it off right away here or you can schedule it for later at the top of the path. And that's it. If you need some additional instructions, you can always use additional help materials located in education and then go to help. If you have any questions, reach out to our customer service desk and ask us about anything. We're here to help. Just use the chat window in the bottom right corner of your screen.